Okay guys, let's take over the trading day of today. Let's clean up the um, the chart. I want to remove the drawing objects but not the the vertical line. It was um, the uh, news day for today. So no trading before the news event, nothing we can do before the news event. And there is just no price section. So uh, don't worry with um, the London session here. Uh, even the beginning of the US session. Um, we had the news event in place. Uh, we had again a big difference between the forecast and the actual outcome. Um, today um, we could see some more price action here. Um, the first move was uh, was eventually to the downside, um, then going up again and down again and uh, giving us um, a support area in place and a, a resistance area in place. Um, oh sorry. And the resistance area that was in place at um, at 5203. Uh, we broke uh, we broke support and uh, we were looking for a short setup here didn't trigger on the uh, on the trading chart eventually going back up uh, breaking uh, we had a minor area of uh, resistance on the uh, sitting on the chart at 5187 you stopped out at break even uh, Gerald On the pullback, um, okay. Um, we had a a break of the um, of the minor uh, resistance area that was sitting at 87. Momentum was up. Um, I took the first entry at um, from 52.75. Um, eventually going up, uh, breaking the um, breaking the resistance area here. Um, uh, took two contracts off at 16, and the last contract at 60 ticks. Um, total profit uh, for the trade 92 ticks. Um, that's um, a great outcome, I think. Um, if we look back at the last trading month or a month and a half. Um, uh, there was a setup uh, on the chart here trying to break the 48 area um, the the problem here uh, right now is the daily range we are trading above the uh, average daily range of the last 30 days and price action on the crude hasn't been great so i think it's time to um, uh, to call it for today and take the profit